guys, my name is Scott. Today I'm pretty much going to be explaining today on how to um, start your dreadlock journey, man. It's been eight years. Eight freaking years, dude. And I haven't looked back. It's been um, one of those things that you gotta kind of just go with the flow with. And, uh, it, it, you know, it takes, takes a lot of patience and, you know, taking care of things and... If you don't like the weight, I suggest you wait until you think you want to get them because it's not the easiest look to achieve. It's not just like you get them in, you, you just, that's it. Unless you want to free form, that's something totally different. And uh, pretty much where I'm coming from is uh, just uh, be sure if you want them, you know, like you gotta. It's trial and error. You know, one day you might wake up and say I want them. Next day you might hate them. You know, it's it's actually kind of like a confusing look because a lot of people love them in the beginning and then they wind up chopping them off. And then it's like, what was the whole point of getting them? And then they want them back. And that's what happened to me a, a few times. Three times I had them, I cut them off. Free forms. Well, the first time I got my hair done by a loctician after the free forms. I brushed them out. I didn't know if I wanted to look. I looked like Alien vs. Predator, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know if I really wanted to w walk around like that. It was like fractals hanging from my f fractals or whatever hanging from my head. Everything was like zigzagged, and my head didn't look like this. So I was like, "Yo, what the fuck?" So um, what I did was brushed, got free forms, cut them, got my first set, combed them out. Third time I cut them. You know, I, I went through a whole dilemma, man. It was crazy. Nothing I would ever want to do again because, like, if you're going to be that unsure about something, then why do it? Um, pretty much where I'm getting at is, you know, if you want to start your journey, the best thing you want to possibly ever do is just wait. You know, if you, if you get them, just wait. Don't be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You know, it's not one of them looks that you're going to, like, say, oh, I fucking love it, dude. It's means so much to me. You might love the you might love the short look. Hey, you might love the look where it looks like the this big. Me, I wasn't too crazy about that. It was growing every day, but I wasn't crazy about it. So, uh What can I say? What can I say? So, yeah, I mean, if you really want them, go get them. Who's stopping you, right? It's like you go and get your ear pierced. Get 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 a couple piercings, you know. It's like Whatever. This look is a little bit different, though, man. You're gonna get people eyeballing you, telling you, oh, yeah, I like your hair. Can I feel it? You, How'd you get them done? How'd they get so long? I get that all the time, bro. All the freaking time I get people asking me, how'd you, how'd you do that? Like it's like I'm Chris Angel from Mind Freak or something. Like I'm, I'm not here to, like... You know, it was just one of those looks I wanted, I guess. I don't know. I never got them because I thought I was going to get a lot of attention. I thought it was just a, a cool look. You know, even Eminem said the reason why he became a rapper wasn't to get publicity. It wasn't to make it on the radio. It was something that I wanted to share with my peers. And that's what he wanted to do. So he didn't think he was going to get freaking recognition or like people watching him. So me, it was like, yo, what up? I got my look. What's going on? I got my identity. So what the fuck, dude? I mean, that's pretty much how I look at it in my in my vision, you know. So I mean, one minute you might like them, next minute you might hate them, next minute you want to cut them and then reattach them to your head. I don't know why T Pain did that, but I, I don't judge no one. I mean, hey, it was my third time, so maybe he missed his. <laughs> so whatever, man. I mean, hey, we're all different strokes for different folks. I mean. If there's anything you want to know in this video and how I did mine, dude, they're freaking long as shit, dude. Check this out. Eight years, eight years of growth. No extensions, nothing foolish. Real, real hair. I didn't know hair could actually get that long. I always see my mom cutting hers and trimming hers in the mirror, so I mean, I didn't know mine would ever get this long. I thought I always had a receding hairline. So, um, you know, 
Just uh, do you, boo. All I gotta say. I mean, one thing I will tell you though is the best way to start them. People might disagree on this and just say, "Oh, neglect it. Yeah, yeah. You don't need that bullshit. Neglect the hair. It's the best way to do it." We all have our ups and downs with every style we get. Like me, I used to rock the emo look, a little side sweep, like JB. <laughs> I was getting too old for that, man. I had a beard coming in. I looked like freaking, looked like a washed up band member or something. Who's that? Oh. So, um, what I did was I just did the interlock method. Easiest. Easy. I have my mom doing it, so I don't gotta go to a loctician every week or two weeks just to get them done again. Some people spend a lot of money on this look, man. You gotta make sure you have people that are gonna do it. I know some people live in the woods and they don't have anyone around them, but uh, sucks for you, man. You might want to pick it up yourself. Learn how to do it by yourself. I mean, they're not gonna. If you do it good, man, I th I think anything is good. If you do do it, practice well enough, you could achieve anything. Like me, I'm just working on music lately. I'm trying to get better at it. And when I get better at it, I want to make it good, you know? So I'm getting making this video for that sole purpose of, you know, I'm going on six minutes here explaining to you guys. And uh, I hope it reaches people. And I hope it gets people's attention. Me, the whole idea of it was just to um, have a cool look, I guess. I don't know. I don't usually wear my hair like this. My band... But I just got them redone, so I don't feel like putting hats on right now. So get a, get an interlock method, man. Get a crochet hook. And do the thing where you go underneath the root and go like this. It's the easiest way, man. It might hurt. It won't worth the pain, though, no, man. If you feel pain, no gain. I'm done with this video, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to be peacing out, and I'm going to be uh, going on to the next one, right? All right, deuces.